87,000 deaths are recorded annually from alcohol abuse in Ghana. That's according to the World Health Organization. According to Alcohol Policy Alliance, an advocacy group, a regulation is needed to help reduce the difficulties in the marketing, availability and affordability of alcoholic products in the country. Alcohol kills 3.3 million people globally annually, which means that one person dies from its use every 10 seconds. According to the WHO, about 87,000 people die annually from its use in Ghana. Considered to be a major obstacle to development, data indicates that its abuse is one of the hindrances to achieving 13 out of 17 of the Sustainable Development Goals. Its harmful use has been a cause of concern globally, with advocacy group Alcohol Policy Alliance Ghana calling for regulations in Ghana. Ghana is among some few African countries in the sub-region to develop an alcohol policy document, and that was in 2016. But there's no legislation to back that document. The group is concerned about the current trend in consumption and inadequate regulation by relevant authorities. Look at the billboards that are, that are around us. In schools, I mean, around schools, I mean, we have billboards, I mean, attracting, very attractive, I mean, billboards. And you know what pictures, I mean, pictures are to children. It attracts them and they want, I mean, and also encourage them to go and go and, go and take them I mean, into this particular community. So we are calling and appealing to the Food and Drug Authority, the Ministry of Health, and other state agencies who are responsible for, for, for this, I mean, to come up with the regulation. But with the many policies and regulations on various aspects, including its production and sales, is a push for the legislation and end to the problem. In 2015, we, we, we advocated and were able to get an alcohol policy, but the policy alone cannot actually buy. So it's just lying down there. Not much, you know, um, implementation is done. But of course, what we are now actually looking for, a legislative instrument that will be passed by parliament. So we think that because once a regulation is in place, it will help us to actually enforce some of the difficulties we are having in what, in, in, what, in marketing, availability and affordability of this particular product. Head of Food Evaluation and Registration Department of the Food and Drugs Authority, Pesi Adomako Ejekum, says the authority, as part of measures to streamline the alcoholic beverages industry, is considering self-regulation. If the need has come for us to step up the control and regulation of the alcoholic product, which in, in, indeed is so, it is also appropriate that any industry that will see that your, 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 your industry need certain uh, need to take more action it's always better that the industry itself start taking steps and measures to regulate the excesses that the other stakeholders are saying before a stricter regulatory regime comes into effect but general secretary of the group alcohol policy alliance labram musa has kicked against the move indicating the best way to go is a legislation so they, they i mean for us we are saying that i mean self-regulation does not work it doesn't work anywhere in the world and even currently in our country i mean self-regulation is not working because the one of the key things that's made us know that it's not working is because the industry claimed that you didn't sell alcohol to a, a child below the age of 18 years meanwhile you go around, you know, most of the shops that they sell these alcoholic beverages, children can walk in and buy alcoholic beverages and they sell it to them.